Let's try it. Tap on the snake. Si 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 si. Aya! What's that? Tap on the green flag to reset the positions. Let's try again. Tap on the snake. Si 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 si. Oh! I'm so afraid. Hello, hello! You come to the right place to start your Scratch Junior journey. We are going to talk about triggering blocks. Welcome, welcome! Today is Scratchy Sunday. As usual, we will explore Scratch Junior and create a project. We all know how to use the start on green flag block. But how about other triggering blocks? In today's project, we will explore the start on tab block and how to send an orange message from a character to an other character. This means character A will not start its motion, its script, until it receives an orange message. Then its script will be triggered. It will start its motion according to the motion block or any other programming blocks you attached to it. Alright, before we start, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you have any problem to install Scratch Junior on a PC or on an Android device, please watch my previous video. Okay, let's get started. In the app, tap on the home button. This is the My Project page. Tap here to choose your language. You can choose English and many other languages. You scroll down and you will see many more languages. Scroll and see, you can choose your right language. Then tap here to go back to the My Project page. Tap on the plus sign to start a new project. Here we are. You can see the Scratch Junior Cat at the center of the stage. Of course, today we are going to make an animation with a snake and a frog character. To the left side of the stage is the character area. We can tap on the plus sign there to select another new character. See, there are many more other characters. And in today's project, we will use snake and the frog. Let's select the frog. It appears at the center of the stage on top of the cat. To delete the cat, press and hold on it for a few seconds, then tap on the X to delete it. Voila, just like that. Now we are ready to program our frog. To make it move, we use the blue motion blocks. We drag a few blocks into the programming area. Our frog will move in the direction of the arrows. We change the number at the bottom of the motion block to make it move a little bit more or a little bit less. I choose two here. Let's test it. Tap on the first blue block and see how our frog moves. All right. It's time to introduce our main character onto the stage, our snake. Select it, and it appears at the center of the stage. We drag it to the side, position it. OK, do you remember how we start the chain of reactions in this animation? Yes, we start this by tap on the snake. Drag down the start on tap block and then we can design the motion. It is quite simple for the snake. When we tap on it, it just moves a step forward. Just like that. Do you see that when we tap on the snake, the green flag button also changes? See? Mm -hmm. The mission for the snake is relatively simple, so I drag out the end block. Let's retest the motion. Mm -hmm. There is nothing wrong, but why the frog is not moving? We have decided the motion for it too. Why? We will look into it in a brief moment. Please allow me to make the snake say si 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 first. To make it say something, we need the purple blocks. We break the connection and drag the say purple block 
in between the start on tap block and the motion block. Hmm, we can type anything we want. I type in C C C C C. You can input something else if you like. Now we can tap on the snake to test it. C C C C C. Okay. To make it move again, we have to attach back the motion block. Before we end the script, we have to send an orange message, so our frog will not stand still. This is the start on message block. We see the envelope is open, but what we need now is the send message block. There are six different message colors. We test it. Our frog is still not moving. This is correct though. Let's switch back to the frog. We drag out the message block. Oh, we need the start on message block, the one with the envelope opened. Throw this away, and we drag the correct one. Attach it. Now we have a character, the snake, who send the message, and we have the frog, who will receive the message. All right, don't forget the end block. Is the moment of the truth. Let's test it. Tap, C C C, jump. All right. The movement of the snake is triggered by our finger, and the movement of the frog is triggered by the snake. Yes. Turn turn. We make use of the start on message block, and the start on tap block. But we are not done yet. We have to make our frog to say something too. What should it say when a snake is approaching? Um, I will say help. Of course, you can input anything you want. You may say cute. I don't know, but I will say help. Attach back the end block. Retest it. The animation is done, and we can choose a background. There are many backgrounds to choose from too. What should we choose? The river. But I do not want the frog in the river. Let me choose again. How about um this one? Okay, I like it. Retest it. <laughs> Hoo! Our project is done. What do you think? You can create your own animation with these two triggering blocks too. This is the end of this week, Scratchy Sunday. See you next week. Bye bye.